Hey, Mark Frank Montoya here, chilling in Cancun, Mastermind Retreat. Yeah. Imagine going somewhere for a whole weekend and learning from multi six figure earners and multimillionaires exactly how to get what they just got. Imagine the knowledge you can have. One weekend can change your life. I mean, value is one of the most important things that you can do in the marketplace. Value equals money. So as much value as you can provide, that's as, how, as, as much money as you're going to get. So, and it doesn't matter. You know, one of the things that we were talking about um, when we sat down at, I think it was lunch here in this beautiful place, um, was that everybody was talking about how they got to the top and no one person had the exact same way. So it doesn't matter if it's exactly how to do this or exactly how to do that. It just matters what works for you, and you just take that to the top, and then you share that with people, and they can find their own spin on it and work it that way. Mm -hmm. I, I know I was looking for the black one. It's Mark Frank Montoya here. I'm chilling with Tracy Walker, the Internet Queen. What's going on? Hey, Marco. Yeah. Okay, there are times when you when you can present an obstacle for yourself, right? You could look and say, well, gee, I don't have enough time to get this task done. Or you can say, listen, if I don't get it done now, I definitely won't have time to do it later, so let me find the time now. Mm -hmm. uh, you can say, I don't have the money to get this marketing training program, but damn, if I at least get the money, if I figure out how to get the money, then I can make the money to pay for it, then I can have a surplus of money, I can have a profit. So, I mean, you kind of have to look at everything that way, but that only comes after you decide that that's really a step in the direction of what you want to do. So you have to decide internally that you're going to stop doing that. Yeah, yeah. You got you to gotta decide first that you, whatever the goal is, that you're going to be gung-ho about getting there. Then you got to decide to stop making excuses for reasons why you can't get there. It's like self-sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. See, that's why she does what she does. You got to make decisions. You got to decide you want to be, you want change. You can't do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. If you're not happy with what is going on in your life, change and look into something new that will work. You know what I mean? So that's why we listen to the pros. That's why we're where we're at. Right, a pro if, with a pro. Yep, yeah, and if you want to live the same life, do what people do that have what you want. Uh, well, you know, it, didn't, it definitely didn't happen with any any one thing. You know, that it was basically a about getting around the leaders, getting around the people who had the results that I was looking for, and you know, constantly striving to, to, to make myself better, and you know, getting to lots of live events. I mean, uh, surrounding myself with leaders, whether that means getting on all the training calls or um, you know, getting on all the all the wake up calls and all the all the mindset calls, and then doing whatever it took to get to every single live event that I possibly could. And that, that was that was the the major catalyst for me was just about about getting around the leaders and, and doing what they told me to do regardless of what I thought or, or how comfortable I was doing. We're in a freaking mansion on the beach. Uh -huh. It's a rough life, right?
homie well, to tell them a little bit about why they need to break that mind state and what it takes to be successful like you've done. I mean, you, you, yep. you, you had a lot, you yep. lost a lot, you yep. lost everything, and you then you got it back in a matter of a couple, not even two years. Right. And so what, what does that take? How do you do that? Yeah, well, I mean, as far as as far as the selfish, you know, mindset, you know, some people they struggle with this business because they don't want to be, uh, you know, rejected by their friends and family, or they don't want to be obtrusive, they don't want to, you know, chase them or beg them or bug them. Uh, however, in this economy, especially, there are more people hurting than ever before. There are people that have lost their jobs. There are people in bankruptcy. People in foreclosure. And so the uh, there's a selfish protection mechanism that we want to protect our, our image and our ego by not talking to people and it's just very selfish. You see, what, what people don't understand is there's only two things we do in network marketing. And that is we present information, we provide options. That's it. And so if you're not presenting information to the people around you, then you simply care about your image more than you do them. Now, how did I get into network marketing? Twice, two different times, a friend of mine invited me to, to a presentation. And so that's what allowed me to get out of personal foreclosure, to get away from all the uh, crap that I had in my life. And it's because someone had the non-selfish mentality to invite me to, to check out some information. Then they provided options, I took the option and, and ran with it. And so understand, every single person watching this video right now has people in their cell phone that is in foreclosure, that has lost their job, or a family member has lost their job, that is down on their luck, that has a non-fulfilled job, and you are being very selfish if you don't at least present the information to them. That doesn't mean they may, they may not take it, they may not say yes, but if you don't at least present the information, you're being very selfish. Yep. Uh, that's what it takes. You, you can't be afraid to be a blessing. We've been locked in our room for three solid days with six-figure, multiple six-figure, and dare I say it, seven-figure income earners locked in a room. We've had tears, we've had laughter, fun times, good times. We've been called to the carpet and told to grow up, show up, and get it done. It doesn't get much better than this. In fact, a guy like that, a guy like that, who has all the trappings of success, the car, the fancy house on the hill, the very gorgeous wife that he had to buy and reconstruct, when he's got all those trappings of success, chances are he has no fun. If you give him time, you gave him heaven. Exactly. Yeah. What's more valuable, right? Money or time? Right. And once you have the money, then you realize, I know, I, at least I know I did for myself, once I started having money, it's like, boy, I really need to get my time back. And then the focus shifted. So I had to learn how to get my time back. Money was an issue, but having the free time to enjoy what the money could do in my life became the issue. It's kind of like a pot of gold, and all you're sitting there is counting it. It's kind of boring. It sucks. Instead, you could be on the beautiful beaches of Cancun, right here, right here. <laughs> this is a guy that knows the meaning of true wealth, right? Indeed. Yeah, Fun yeah. stuff, man. Thanks, Rob. break. Now we go back in for some more millionaire training, masterminding. We'll see you soon. Oh, my friends! Yeah. Yeah. Cancun, a bunch of wealthy people. That's what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Love you guys. Yeah. Loving it, baby. Mm -hmm.